So in this build series, I wanted to make sure that I didn't only strictly focus on the computer. I want to make sure that I talk about the monitors as well. So currently I have a, yeah, that way, <laughs> a 1080p monitor. Um, it's on an arm that is a Vivo, uh, Vivo arm or Vivo monitor mount. I got it from Amazon. Um, I'll put a link in the description so you can check it out if you'd like to. Um, didn't spend a whole lot of money on it, but definitely got um, what I was looking for for what I did spend on it. So like I was saying, 1080p right here, and then I've got a 1440p over here. This is just what I have, um, I guess you could say for right now. What I'm hoping to do pretty soon is take the 1440p that I have here, get another one to put where the 1080p is currently, and the reason that I got this monitor mount is so that whenever I get that second 1440p monitor, I could take the 1080p that is currently here and move it up and then have, uh, that way I would have a third monitor up here and I could have a dual screen config back here um, for more screen real estate, better coding, not really going for anything crazy with 4K and high refresh rate and all that stuff, really just looking for more screen real estate, um, to have more code on the screen, to have more debug windows, more browser windows, those sorts of things. And then gaming and all the kind of nice bells and whistles that people typically are interested in looking at YouTube videos for um, about for, for monitors and stuff. That's really just extra. Um, so, so yeah, so here you go. I uh, just want to share this with you. It's very informal. I've got some build footage that is pretty straightforward. Um, really, I'm just trying to share the experience with you guys. All right, thanks for hanging around this long. I know this is a pretty basic video, just throwing a monitor on top of an arm, but this is the first thing that I have 
in a small series of videos. I guess I'll probably title this like a, a dev environment build or a dev lab build, and I'll throw it all in a playlist. Um, I have a new PC build coming that's going to be with the Ryzen 5 2600X as the, uh, the foundation for that new build. It's going to be a workstation oriented but still pretty budget minded. And, um, but yeah, there's a, there's a lot more coming and I know this is pretty basic but I'll have links for uh, all the stuff that I use in the video down in the, if I can, I still don't know how to point, <laughs> in the description. Um, so please check that out. Also remember to like, comment, and subscribe on the video so we can get a discussion going. Um, let me know what you think. If you like these kind of videos, if you don't like these kind of videos, if they're stupid, if they're amazing, um, if they give you new ideas, anything. Um, but anyway, thanks for hanging around and I'll, uh, I'll be bringing more your way and I'll see you next time.